Hey, K-State fans, it is Fitz with the Daily Delivery. Hope you're doing well. Hope you have big weekend plans. So King Jim 77 one of our regulars at Go Power Cats Wabash Station, our VIP message board, posted a link to a tweet recently that uh, listed the top 20 most friendly and top 20 most hostile fan bases in the country. Now, look, there's probably no scientific information put into this. It's just some guy, and I don't even have his name up here on the screen, who put it together. And I thought it was kind of entertaining, and I liked it because Kansas State came in at 10 on the most friendly list. Yay! Good for you, K-State fans. You do have a nice reputation. You've earned it, and you are pretty kind to those, particularly in Aggieville, who come in before the game. Or if you're walking around tailgates, usually you don't have to buy a beer or find a beer or bring food. If you're an opposing fan, you will be fed and given some water, alcohol, whatever you want. Uh, the hostile list, though, didn't bode so well for the Big 12. Texas Tech was number one. The worst fans in the country in Lubbock? Maybe. I just find it hard to believe there's they're the worst there's got to be someone worse than there number three was west virginia i don't know about you but ever since west virginia joined the big 12 i've heard about how bad their fans are and every time i go there i think their fans are great i think i even though it's a different culture i just think k-staters and west virginia fans kind of have some similarities it's just interesting that they're seen as really hostile and k-staters are seen as really nice KU came in at 9, Baylor 17, Iowa State 19. So that's half of the Big 12 on the hostile list. K-State was the only school on the friendly list from the Big 12. What are we doing here, Big 12? Let's be nice to everyone. Yeah, Here's what struck me as interesting. Well, Virginia Tech was number one on the most friendly, so I think we know where this fan was from, probably from, what, from Virginia, and maybe that's why West Virginia was so high on the hostile list. Uh, Nebraska is number four, number four on the most friendly list. Now, I know that's their reputation. I know that when they win, they're really nice. Good game, good game. But that's been my experience when you when you beat them. Nebraska fans aren't so friendly. Maybe that's changed now that they don't beat many people at all. I don't know. Number eight on the most friendly list in the country is Colorado. Is this something that happened after legalization? It's not like in uh, Boulder you couldn't find weed before legalization, but they were awful fans when you were in the Big 12. Just awful to people that were there from out of town. I mean, it was really hostile. Maybe they've reinvented themselves, and congratulations that they have, or maybe they're just all eating gummies at halftime and they don't care much anymore. But Colorado on the most friendly fan base list? I just find that hard to believe. I'll take West Virginia every day of the week.